This video has been presented by Ben's Garage. Please be sure to subscribe and like for more tutorials. Enjoy the video. Hello guys, it's Ben from Ben's Garage and today we're going to look at a snowblower carburetor. Snowblower carburetors are slightly larger than your usual lawnmower carburetor and it has just about the same parts. This particular carburetor came off of a Tecumseh 8.5 horsepower horizontal shaft engine from a snowblower. So we're going to go ahead and disassemble it. First thing that you want to look at down here is you want to remove this large screw from here. Not this one. This one just rele releases fuel. If it is still full of fuel, go ahead and take the screw off. However, in my case, there is no fuel in here, so I can just go ahead and take this off. Once you get it loose, you can also just hand turn it off. So you want to put this aside because your jet is also in this screw, right there. And you want to remove the bowl itself. And here you go. This is what it looks like inside your carburetor. In this case, this one is actually pretty clean. So to further remove uh, the disassembly of the carburetor, first thing that we want to do is we want to remove this connecting rod below. Oh. If parts are just falling off, you might as well just take them off like the O-ring gasket. Go ahead and move that aside. Next thing that you want to do is you want to remove the connecting rod that connects the float itself to the carburetor by just pulling it out. Just like that. Go ahead and put that aside. And then your bowl, I mean your float should arise out of the carburetor. You can go ahead and shake it. If there's no fluid in it, the carburetor, uh, the, the float itself is still good. Go ahead and put that aside. And if your needle is clean, which in this case it is, you can go ahead and put that back as well. So now we got all the bells and whistles off of this carburetor that we need to mess with. This is the idle screw. We don't really want to mess with that. It's perfectly tuned. If you also want to know the other parts, this one has a choke valve, this one has a choke, and this is your throttle. And if you open your throttle valve and you look inside, if it's pretty clean, like this one is, then you're good to go. If not, you can put in some carburetor cleaner or WD-40 works just as good. So, we're going to reassemble this. We want to go ahead and put on our O-ring gasket. This gasket is still good. So we can go ahead and put it on. The next thing that you want to do is you want to assemble the bowl, the float, onto the carburetor. But before we do that, we want to put our needle onto this little catch down here and we want to align it to the center just like that and then we want to align the needle itself and put it in this small hole on the carburetor itself once that's done you can go ahead and put in the connecting rod between the two And there we go. You can check to see if it's still good by lifting up the float. And if your needle rises up, you're good to go. We can go ahead and put the, uh, the bowl cover back on. And yeah, just secure it there. Then we want to check out our jet. The jet itself looks pretty good. If you hold it up to the light in the small hole, if you can see light through it, then you're good. If not, you can always get a uh, small nail and go through there and get out the jet. This is all good, so we can go ahead and put it back in. Once you have it on good and tight, you want to make sure that this one's also tight so that no fuel comes out. Then you can go ahead and put it back onto your snowblower.